yes so here beta actually best fit is a little bit related to correlation okay all right correlation. best fit means minimum means uh, that means uh, here you are seeing many crosses okay on your graph yes that's right so that means uh, best fit that will be that line which would like to pass through maximum crosses okay all right that will be your best fit okay okay so you can see that uh, here that is uh, your uh, above line this one wait hold on give me one second yeah sure Little bit. You can see that this one in this. Oh my God! Wait, wait, wait! Give me one second. I have to refresh that. Actually, image was a little bit, little bit more big. Actually, that was best fit. That is the topic in correlation. Everything that whatever that will be. That means if there will be many points on a graph, then a minimum of three points. If that will be in a straight line, then that line will be considered as best fit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wait a second. Now I can explain this to you. Hold on. Yes. So you can see here. You can see that you are seeing this point, okay? Yes. Here, yeah, this point, okay. These two points are a little bit on the line, but if you would like to see this point, okay, then it, then it is not on the line, okay? It is not on the line. Again. Um, which point are you referring to? I am asking about this one here. Oh, uh, that line. Yes. 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 Wait, wait. I am choosing red in color, so that will be much convenient. So. Yeah, and uh, give me one second. Yeah. So here, if you would like to see this one, this point, and this point, okay? So yes. two points, these two points, they are on the line. But the third one is not on the line, okay? It's yes. a little bit apart from the line. On the other side, if you would like to see that, uh, okay, another color, yeah, you may second yeah just see this one okay and uh, you can see that it is over this one okay these two points are also these two crosses are also which would like to me see here they are uh, joining these two points okay and yes, then you can see that two points are above okay and two points are lower okay yes but for your kind information, if you would like to draw a line on graph. Mm. Okay. So as usual, fundamentally, you know that minimum two points that will be required to draw a line. But at least there should be three points. Okay. Okay. So that means downwards, you can draw a dotted line. Upward, you can draw a dotted line with the help of two points. Okay. So yes. that means best fit that will be that line which will be almost middle or mean in between. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. So in that condition, they are drawing in between that one. Okay. Oh. Okay. That means here you can see that zero. Wait, you can see that zero. You can see that 450. Okay. So the middle line that would like to be approximately 225 or 250. Okay. Yes. So that's why that it is your middle line and it is your best fit. Actually, best fit in best fit that you can understand that if there will be many points on the graph, okay. Okay. So best fit will be the will be that line which would like to pass maximum points through, okay. Okay. Yes. I Means suppose that you can understand that by different color. I can do that. Can I raise a little bit? Yeah. Sure. So yeah, give me one second. I'm raising. Oh, I'm raising. Then I can tell you a little bit more. 
efficiently now you can see that if your uh, some points are this one okay if a little bit point that will be here okay if a little bit point that will be here okay here here okay and here okay so you can see that your best fit line that can come also by here like this okay yes that's right yes so best fit that you can see uh, <clears throat> one of video which i had uploaded uh, means i think one or two days one days or two days before okay about a scatter a scattering graph okay scattering graph okay scattering graph on my channel okay then there that i explained uh, another student about best fit okay okay yes so you can go through that video okay Just yes there yeah you can see that clearly that there is explanation about best fit and i explained that okay when will be positive miss correlation when will be negative correlation okay because as usual i explained that to you that best fit line that is totally depend on correlation okay if there will yes. be many point if there will be many point on graph okay so best fit line will be that line which would like to pass through maximum point okay yes that's right understand yes i understand that idea i understand that idea yes and now they are talking about slope so slope that i explained that to you that means slope slope equals to up upon across okay or you can also write that up that y, means final y minus over initial x. okay x final to, minus initial yes uh, sorry y2 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 to give me one second sorry 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 it will be y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 okay yes yeah so means y2 minus y1 it is your final point here okay yes up i am explaining up okay okay so 600 is here i think 2200 or less than 2100 that will be here okay so that means 2100 minus 600 okay then you will get your up and then it is your uh, and here it will be what you had written here i am not able to oh uh, that's not what my mess up my handwriting uh, what he what i wrote there is i wrote what is it uh, i wrote i wrote slope is equal to m is equal to delta y over delta no, 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 x i am not i am not asking that one dear just give me one second i am asking to you this one what is this what you had written here what is it Oh, that's the time. Zero point zero zero five, zero point zero zero. That's the that's the time. That's okay, the time. okay, okay. Yes, yes. So that means the del y that will be up, del x that will be down. So you can see that from this point, if you would like to draw perpendicular, okay, I think it will be zero point zero zero three. Okay. Okay. And it will be. You uh, you can draw perpendicular over here. It will be your uh, x two. A little bit. I think that you had written here. I don't know that what what is, but whatever will be okay. So that means that this x two minus x one and y two minus y one, and in that condition you will get your slope. Okay. Ah uh, okay okay, that's right. Yes. Understand. Yes, yes. I And understand. also slope equals to up upon across. You are doing so it will be wait, changing color. So up upon across that means del y by del x. Okay. And here is your slope that is your m. Okay. So m that means you are taking. So you can also take uh, means del on your left hand side also. So it is your division. So it will be del m upon m equal equals to. This is in division, so it can also be written as del y upon y plus del x upon x. Okay, it will be. Understand? Uh, okay. Yes. 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 Means simply that you can understand that division. Part, division we are doing here. Okay. M equals to del y by del x. Okay. So with respect to that maximum possible error. Okay. 
maximum error then you can write in this way that division that will also be the addition of two different quantities okay so in this way you can write there and if any value that is given there then you can plug in and you will get your answer clear yes yes but now when there's one more thing i'd like to discuss with you which which what they're saying is that is equal to percentage times del y plus percentage times del x which is to find the error in the graph and the error part how would you calculate that percentage uh, what uh, can you repeat Excuse me. Yes, uh, the percentage error when for calculating the slope is the percentage error in del y oh, wait, 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 plus the percentage wait, wait. So error wait, wait, in del percentage, x. So percentage del m upon m times hundred equals to it will be del y upon y times hundred. Okay, and plus del x upon x times hundred. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So it will be so del y upon y. Okay. Into hundred, so that means you can see that y to y, how much percent that is increasing. So you can also understand that here is six hundred. Okay, here yes. will be twenty one hundred. Okay, so percentage change that means how much it will be twenty one hundred minus six hundred upon six hundred times hundred. Simple. Okay. Yes, so that's it right. will be yeah percentage change I am calculating okay yeah that means mm. del y del y okay yes yeah so it will be that means to uh, 2100 minus 600 so it will be I think 1500 upon 600 into 100 2020 will be cancelled so 1500 by 6 1500 by 6 is, then whatever will come that will be your del y by y okay oh okay 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 yes yes understand then you can plug in you can plug in that value here del y upon y into 100 in the same way that you can calculate del x upon x into 100 and you can calculate there and you can add both of them and that will be your answer oh okay 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 yes understand? yes 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 i understand how this one works i understand how this one works uh, okay. So, can we move to the next image? Yes, we can. I understand. So, one uh, second, but before you do, before you do, I just want to take a screenshot. Okay, you can take a screenshot. Otherwise, that will be in your video. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, anytime. Yeah, anytime. Yeah, anytime. The screenshot. Yeah. So, I think we can move on to the next image. Yes, that's. Perfect. Okay, I'm refreshing that button so that. Can move to the next okay, image. One second, I just want to get my adapter for my laptop. Oh, okay, so okay, okay. I'm waiting. waiting. I'm waiting. Till then, it is refreshing. Hi, Hi, yes, I connected it. Sorry about the delay. Yeah, yeah, no, no problem, but why you are saying sorry? <laughs> Doesn't matter of that. Here you can see that, but I think that next images that you send, it is related to chemistry, okay? Yes, yes. so we can skip those because we finished entire yeah, chemistry. because course. that we can get down there and uh, then... And second. the next one is physics, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yes. I think that. But yeah. one thing, I would not like to discuss this first. Actually, the first image I'd like Actually, to discuss... Actually, but that distance time graph, hello? Yes, I can hear you. Clearly, you can understand. You can go through my videos. In that one, there is distance time graph. I clearly explain that. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. In a and very deep scroll, manner. Can you yes. scroll down a little bit? Because there's something I'd like to discuss with you first. Because now that we're in the same here, topic, but a little bit, it, I can tell you one thing: speed and velocity. Here, distance time graph <coughs> or velocity time graph. A little bit. Wait, 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 wait. Before a little bit, uh, I I am not going to uh, write anything on a screen. But here you can see that. Are you are you seeing that graph here? Yeah, I can see that graph. So but before I discuss that. this, I'd like to discuss one thing with you before I get to this. Yes. Uh, it's at the bottom actually, the image, because it's a continuation of the image which we just did. 
But I sent you that in the last part. That's why it's at the bottom. We'll get to this as well. But first, I'd like to discuss that one. Because that one is directly related to what we just did. That's why. So, which image that we have to move? Uh, can, you just come out, just, can you just uh, come out of this interface? I think no, that I mean, like, see here. Like, come out. Uh, get back to the home screen. Uh, Let me just press back. I mean, just press back. Is it possible you can see that downwards here? Your images uh, are on Yes, can you go to the right hand side? Absolute right hand side. Absolute like, right hand side? Yeah, right hand side. Right hand side. Yeah? Oh, right hand. You are the other right hand side. Other okay. Right hand side. Sorry, the directions are different in that. Oh, no, 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 I understand. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, that image, that image right there. The first image. Here? No, no, the one next to it, right, right hand side. Uh, again, next to it, right hand side. Here? Yeah, yeah, that one. That one. Oh, I think that it is related to Vernier calipers or something. Yeah, all of those three images I'd like to discuss with you first. Okay. Because all so, of these are related directly to my, what we just did, just discussed just now. That's okay, I mean. no problem, no problem. Now you yeah. can see that. Because uh, the name of these chapters is uh, Measurements, Error and Dimension Analysis. That's why I want to discuss this chapter before I move on to that next chapter. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> so what do you want to ask over here, Bita? Uh, uh, can you scroll down to the part two? where it says, describes how you would use an apparatus to measure accurately the diameter of a can. So what I'd like to discuss with you here is when I'm when I'm given questions like this, where they're asking me describe, describe how would you use this apparatus to measure accurately yes. the diameter of a can. Yes, how, how <laughs> do I write these kinds? Because these are small mark questions, like two mark questions. And yeah, like you, you, can, you, can, you can write that. You can write in this way. That suppose that firstly fix the can between the jaws of apparatus okay? okay and then you have to see that if there is zero error that means the main scale reading that would like to coincide to vernier scale reading okay okay yes and then when that will be means both will coincide then you have to see that what will be the reading on main scale and you have to know you have to copy that and then you have to see that which part of vernier scale that is coinciding to main scale part okay okay you have to multiply that by its least count and then you have to add that value to your main scale reading that is your perfect answer oh i see i see and generally when i get questions like this what is the best way to proceed like should i make a diagram but, uh, first actually you know that outside? if if you will do this type of experiment in your school i think that your teacher told you each and everything in your school yeah this saturday every saturday from now on i have lab for one and a half hours for physics so this saturday it starts this saturday so be so when i have to do these kinds of experiments or any kind of experiment in physics yes. what is the first so, thing but, uh, I wait a second do? when you want to give this type of questions answer so you don't have to learn anything special okay what okay. you did in your laboratory regarding to this type of practical just you have to write in the same way that's it so Means, is there suppose that a can is for? suppose that a can is given to you okay okay yes and one year calipers is also there okay so yes. you have to fix the cane between the jaws of one year calipers okay yes okay so okay. Do you think that I have to write this step over here, or are you understanding yes, yes. that? Yeah, if you could write it, it would be good because it would be oh, a oh, oh, good okay, example. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Uh, then, uh, oh, wait. I have to. Yes. So, in oh my God, wait. No, 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 no problem. Nothing else. Nothing else. Actually, do you think that I have to write over here on the page, or do you think that I have to write a little bit over here? Oh, you can um, write a little bit to the right hand side. It's easier. Yes. That because that will be much convenient to see that and each and everything. Uh, yeah, first point, place, place object between, between the jaws, jaws of vernier calipers, okay? Okay. Second step is that, notice, notice that the main scale main scale uh, sorry main scale main scale zero is coinciding coinciding to 
vernier scale zero okay okay, okay. third one now uh, uh, now see the main scale reading reading okay copy that copy that fourth step okay miss that is for example like a 3.2 centimeter suppose okay okay now fourth is uh, see carefully carefully that which which part of vernier calipers is coinciding coinciding to main scale okay okay main scale reading okay main scale so reading. yeah so that was a little bit for your understanding that i can uh, uh wait hold on hold on hold on give me one second i can explain that to you over here suppose that uh, here you can see that uh, it will be your vernier scale reading will be okay okay and yeah. then a little bit above there will be main scale reading that you can see that okay like this okay so now you have to see that which one is coinciding so uh wow you can see here just look at it okay okay so that means three point uh yeah three point two okay and yes. then from here you have to mean ah uh, sorry i <laughs> miss i had i had drawn many uh, lines over there okay but suppose that one one two three four five six suppose six lines okay sixth line that is coinciding with vernier scale reading okay yes. so now least count you have to calculate least count okay least count least count or you can also see that in short form lc so that means normal least count you know that that is your 0.001 okay yes one for vernier calipers okay you have to multiply that by which uh, which uh, which uh, which one is coinciding that means it will be 0 .0, 0, uh, 0 0.0 0.01 multiplied by 0 0.01 multiplied by 6 so it will be 0 0.06 now full reading oh i think ah, sorry a little bit I wrote here 0 0.001, but I think you had to write here 0 0.01. Okay. Yeah. So it will be then then the true reading. True reading. Okay. True reading. That means it will be main scale reading. Main scale reading. Main scale reading. Plus okay. vernier scale reading. Okay. For new scale, okay. Yeah, that means 3.20 plus 0 0.06, so it will be 3.26 centimeter accurate, okay? Uh, okay. It's your process, okay? That's why that they are giving two marks question that, okay? Oh, I see, I see. That's why it's point wise. So the more point, the number of points you get, that's how you get the mark basically. Yes, you can see that four four points are there. Each and every point that we would like to consider as 0 0.5. Okay. Yes. Yes. Understand? Yes. So that's right. Here, beta. Also, I wrote there. Also, for forever. Okay. It is on this video when I will upload that. Any time that you will go to there and you can see all of that. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 Understand? Yes, yes, that's fine, that's fine. Yes. So, I explained this one to you, Bita. Any other question which you want to ask to me related to this picture? Oh, uh, yeah, this image. But this is divided into two parts. The table is given here and the questions in the next image. Okay. Um, 
internal volume internal volume per centimeter cube okay 391 399 398 so you have to take average of that one so that is your, means basically that whatever calculation you will do that that is related to this one this one and this one okay Oh, okay, okay, that's yes. Fine. So because that here, what you are here, what you are uh, means you are seeing readings. They, so just to make accuracy, that's why that basically three readings that they are taking, and then you have to take average of them, and then you have to calculate that what your question you, they will ask you. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So okay. volume of the cylinder as usual, yes. Volume of the cylinder that is pi r square h. That's the basic formula. Okay. So pi r square h. Internal volume is this height height that is h is given here external diameter that means r1 you can consider sorry hold on not r1 you can consider as d1 okay d1 okay yes yes for diameter d1 oh please pardon me sorry yes yeah, sure okay yes so d1 so beta external diameter that is 3.2 correspondingly radius that you have to consider over there okay okay so that means the radius that will be r1 that is equals to uh, 3 3 3 3 3.6 okay 3.6 okay yeah so uh, external diameter that you had calculated okay height that is also there from external diameter you will get that external ra radius volume is given height is given then what you have to consider uh, in this case, I have to. In in this case, the asking for the volume is given as this, where well, h is this. But the question is in the next image, actually. This is just the data they've given to us. Okay, you just have to tell me because manually you also have that one. Okay, so I'm going to refresh this one, Mita, so that the next image would like to appear. One second. Basically, Mita, all the things. That's why that yes. Uh, means I am very thankful to all of those students who suggested me to miss record the videos because that every time that you don't have to wait for my class, every time that you have to go to that videos and then you will be able to see that what I am explaining in that video. And if yet if there is any problem, then in that way that you can come to me and I will explain that to you. Give me hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me one second. Um, yes, yeah, sure. Okay, this one is the image that we were discussing. I think this means that I have to open. Uh, yes, yes, that's right. Okay, yeah, you are seeing here. A little These bit are the questions it. from that table which was given to us. Okay, no problem. So a little bit that uh, I am going to hold on. Wait, it's coming. Yes, now your screen is over here. Miss your page. Now a little bit the above one. Uh, okay, use these measurement to show that the external volume is about uh, 400 centimeter cube. Oh yes. So external volume that means volume. Oh please, give me one second. Volume equals to pi r square h. Pi that means 3.14 times radius. 3.6 whole square and the external length that was given height. So what was that? Uh, height. The, the height. Uh, how about this? How about this? You just open a new tab and in the new tab you can some. Uh, you, uh, you can take a screenshot of it. You can screen, take a screenshot of the image. Oh, the no, no, I am asking about the table. Mean values of your length or height. Just tell me that one only. Oh okay, okay. One second, one second. I'll just I'll just take out my uh, notebook because that that picture is or, in my notebook. Oh wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. I can also do that. I have uh, in my in my phone. I am opening that. Okay, give me one okay. second. Give me one second. One. Yes, I found it. I found it. The height is ten point one cm. Yeah, ten point one. Wow. So here you can see that three point one four times three point six whole square times uh, ten point one. Okay. Now, do you have calculator? Yes. Okay, you can calculate this one. Also, whatever will come, that will be your answer. They are asking that is about 400 centimeter cube. Okay, just firstly calculate that. How much you are getting there? Yes. Uh, 
I think approximately 400 a little bit uh, more or less that you can get over there. Times four times I'm getting 114.22. What you are saying that? <laughs> How is it possible? 3, 3, 9, 10, Oh, wait, 11. wait, 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 wait. I forgot to square it. That's why. I forgot oh. to square it. One second. Times five. Hmm? How is this possible? This is literally the answer I'm getting. Once again, I'm sending you an image of what I'm getting. Because I'm getting 411, really. I don't know why. Once 411? Again, yeah, I don't know why. Once oh, again, I'll wait, oh, hold on, Bita. 411, that's the right answer. 411 centimeter cube. Okay. Oh, yeah, that it is, is right. equal to right. 400 right. centimeter cube. Okay. Round it off, okay? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because 411 centimeter cube, that is, if you round off that, then that will be equals to 400. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes. Hence, calculate the vo value of the volume of the metal. Oh, yes, that's right. Um, volume of the metal. So, external radius is this one. Okay. Can you... Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. I am seeing, I am seeing that table again. Give me one second. In this one, okay, we had found that uh, 396, that is internal volume. Wow. So, hence they are saying that volume of metal or volume of material. So, external minus internal you will do and then you will get the volume of material, okay? Oh, so basically they are asking about the thickness, essentially. Yeah, means, means thickness that will be in length or width, okay? But they are asking that uh, how much material, what will be the volume of material that is used, okay? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes. And mm. next, they are asking about, hence calculate the value of density. Fundamentally, you know that density equals to, density equals to mass per unit volume, okay? Yes, so that's that right. Mass, I think, uh, that is given for uh, oh yeah 4.982 uh, into 10 to the power minus 2 okay so uh, 10 to the power minus 2 if you would like to convert that into centimeter so it will be 49.82 okay yes and divided by volume that you had calculated over there so that means it will be 15 over there okay and yes. then you can divide that, okay. So when you divide 15, 15, 3 is 45, 4, 15, 3 is 45. So it will be a prox, uh, yeah, 3. So here will be gram, here will be centimeter cube. So 3, 3.3, okay. 3.3, yes. 45, 3, 30. 3.32 gram per centimeter cube is your answer, okay? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes, that's right, that's right. So, so basically you are seeing here, I am not doing nothing special, beta. Simple thing they are asking and simple thing I am doing that. Oh my God, Arjit, you know that. Now in this session, I have many office students. Yeah, they don't know about basic knowledge. I'm little bit uh, miss worried about all of that. Yeah, you can see that. If you would like to understand about, uh, do you know all the terms, or basic terms like density, force, yep, yep. and well, I had to that. do them for the O level. I had to do them for the O level. Oh. Yeah, okay, so no problem. density. So, yeah. Whatever that will come regarding to that one related any term, I will explain that, okay? And then you have to revise that time after time, okay? Yes, yes, yes. I, but Bita, can I, can, can I request you one thing? Yes. Uh, do you have a little bit free time, uh, means between uh, my, uh, means one class and after the other class? Yes, I think one hour. Uh, when, when? 
a means after class i suppose that i when i will complete when will complete your class then from today's class and day after tomorrow's class i think that you will get at least one hour class one one hour time free okay okay or suppose that if you are <laughs> if you don't have time so you i can i can give you an idea when you would like to go to toilet okay just okay. carry your mobile <laughs> okay okay <laughs> sorry <laughs> so in it's that right. condition when you would like to be fresh within 15 20 minutes then you can see that video means your class video which you are which which you are doing this time here okay and when there will be audio visual effect then 100% you will never forget for a long time okay yes okay. yes that's right that's right. it's a trick it's a trick last few months i was doing that that's why that if i would like to teach any student manually and if i would like to teach you in audio visual effect so 100% you will get maximum marks in spite of that other student you know why because i am explaining each and everything in written okay means although i am also explaining that to you in written but here you can see that you are able to see on your screen okay and yes. you are able to hear my voice okay it is just like as uh, event of seeing picture or movie okay yes yeah now i understand that okay so means i mean to say that any time that you have to you just have to make one hour free for you to see this video okay again one time after each and every class yeah sure that's no problem that's no problem beta you will not, you will you you wouldn't believe i don't know that how many times that you had seen of your previous one or two class videos but you can see that last one month if you would like to go to my channel then viewers are seeing that subscriber whatever subscribers they are seeing that doesn't matter but non subscribers are there are many who always continuously they would like to see yes yes that's right that's right okay yes yes that's right okay do you understand that yes 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 i understand this one i understand this okay one. Yeah, but I if you will do that, yeah, you will not give anything to me, beta. But whatever, if you will follow me, then hundred percent that I will give you. Last year, you followed me. You was intent to follow all the instructions, whatever that I was giving that to you. Okay, that's yes. what. That's why the your result was perfect. Okay, and whatever result that you was desiring. Okay, before starting my tuition, and I hope that you get. your result efficiently ha huh? yes yes of course yeah. of course and also that your father your father was happy when your father talked to me and then i asked to him that do are you satisfied with my service when he said that yes sir definitely then i was a little bit relaxed that oh my god yes <laughs> now my one year means hard working that is now fruitful so that means i mean to say that everything that whatever i am explaining beta you have to move Okay, you just firstly have to take by yourself. Okay, if you are a little bit problem getting, then you can go to channel and then you can see that. Means not of your video. There are many topics, Arjit. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's right. Okay, Vada. Yeah. Thanks for your time. And now you can see that. Which other question you want to uh, understand, Vada? Uh, the next one is part C one. C one. Okay. <laughs> Use the <laughs> measurement. to establish i'm sorry to estimate the percentage uncertainly in the external volume um uh okay so yeah. i think it's, that uh, hold on hold on hold yeah, on yeah sure this one is the most tricky one this one i can't understand at all actually no 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 but it's a, it's a it's a tricky one you can understand that i am telling you what uh, you should assume that the uncertainty of the height measures is negligible oh yes height that will also be negligible because that whatever will be the height of the object either it would like to be increased or decrease it doesn't matter of that one okay because height will be constant okay suppose that yes. if you are carrying the box okay 
if you are carrying the box and if you are calculating the volume okay external volume internal volume that you can calculate that and also you would be able to calculate that the volume of material okay but yes. in that in that calculation it is not possible that the height of your box will change okay no no yes. no never okay. yeah so that's why that that's, that's why they are writing here that the height uncertainty in the height measurement that is negligible so let me see that what you are doing here uh, external volume i think that it is related to what you are practically that you will get value okay you know why actually i am seeing here that uh, external diameter 7.2 Okay, seven point three. That is your maximum. Okay. Yeah. Means what you, you just see, just see on your table. Okay. Just see on your table. On your table, you are seeing that external means diameter. External diameter, maximum diameter. You are getting that seven point three, and minimum diameter that you are getting seven point one. Okay. So you yeah. have to you have to find out that change in diameter. Okay. So change in diameter that will be zero. Oh, sorry, zero point two. Okay, zero point two uh, meter or uh, wait uh, in centimeter zero point two centimeter. Okay, or it will be two millimeter. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so two millimeter that is your diameter, bitte. So radius that will be what? It will be one millimeter. Okay. Oh, one millimeter. Okay. Yes. So uh, percentage in that condition. Uh, Yes, and if you would like to get average, so you are getting that uh, 7.2, huh? Yes. 7.2. So 7.2 that you are getting average. So in that condition, if percentage format, if you want to get that, one upon yes, it is right. One upon 72 or uh, into 100, that is 1.4 percent for D. Okay. okay. Yeah. So 4% of D, 1.4% of D. So it will be 1.4 times 2. That will be 2.8. Okay. Okay. Actually, I'm a little bit confused. Uh, can what, you just what? repeat for again one more time this question? Beta. Simply, you have to understand that they are asking that percentage uncertainty of external volume. So external volume means what? For yar for external volume. Okay. And yes. Wait. Hold on. I'm changing the color. External, external volume. For external okay. volume, formula is pi r square h. Okay, height yes. is constant. Okay, so yes. and pi is also constant. So what is the main thing? Main thing is your radius. Okay, so okay. radius. So radius that is. Uh, but here diameter is given. So mainly that change in diameter that you are getting two millimeter. Okay. Yes. Okay, so percentage change. If you want to calculate that, so simply you have to do that. Okay, one point four percent of diameter. Okay. Yes. So simply, our one point four into diameter. That is your two. So you will get there. Okay, two point eight. Okay. Yes. Two point eight percent. Clear. Yes, that's two, right. Yeah, so that means it is your answer. So percentage uncertainty that will be your two point eight. Clear? Oh, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So yeah. first, what we need to do is we need to find the diameter essentially. So we minus the seven point three, which is the largest measurement, with the smallest measurement seven point one, to find the spreading, which is two millimeter, right? Yes, yes. And yes, after yes. we find two millimeter, we divide that by two to find the one millimeter, which is the half spreading of it. So which yes. is the radius? You can also say. So once that's done, we do one over seventy-two, right? Yes, yes, yes. One over seventy-two. One divided by seventy-two. Yes. Seventy-two. And one. Wait, wait. One divided by seventy-two. But when you do that, I think that a little bit I am doing manually. Um, I think you will get that uh, zero point zero one three. One second. I can use my calculator. Eight. Oh yes, zero point. Zero one three eight. Or if you would like to uh, accurate that, then it will be that zero point zero zero one four. Okay. When you multiply that by hundred, then you will get that one point four percent. Okay. 
So this is 1.4% for the diameter. Yeah, is for diameter. And at diameter, you are getting that change in diameter too. So simply you have to multiply that uncertainty. That means 2.8%. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uncertainty 2.8%. Now I understand clearly. Yes, yes, I understand clearly. But yeah. just one thing, I understand everything else. So diameter we multiply by two because this is the radius, right? So yeah, we multiply that's the by radius. two and then we find a percentage for the diameter. Well, yes, yeah, yes, that's yes, fine. Yes. But where does the seventy two come from? Are you seven beta seventy two seven point three and seven point yes. one? That is in centimeter given or not, yeah? Yes, that's right. Are you you have to convert that into millimeter because <coughs> The other thing that is in your millimeter, okay? Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes so that means it is your 72. One, one by 72, it is in millimeter. Yeah. Because if that oh. will not be in millimeter, then how is it possible to multiply that by 2? Okay? Yes, yes, that's because right. Because as usual, I explained that is the fundamental thing that every quantity that should be in same. Yes, yes, yes. In this I case understand? It's, yeah, in this case it's fine. And there's just one more thing I'd like to discuss. They wrote here in the last step, B is equal to pi r squared h and B is equal to 2 times percentage of uh, something CMR plus percentage of equa yeah, yeah, yes, What's yes. that? Beta, beta, beta. You can see that V equals to... Yeah, oh, give me a second. Give me a second here. No problem. I'm here to explain everything to you. Just see here. Beta V equals to pi r square h, okay? Yes, Clear? yes. V equals to pi r square h. Pi is constant, so that means in that condition, del V by V equals to twice of del r by r plus del h by h, yeah? <laughs> okay? Del V by V is equal to twice del r by r and plus del h. Yeah, and percentage, 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 that means now it will be del V by V into 100 equals to twice of del R by R into 100 and plus del H by H into 100. Okay, but Yes, that's right. So that's why that what it is, it is twice of percentage change, percentage change in radius, okay? Oh, in radius. Plus... Okay percentage change in height okay that's mm -hmm. it that's why that you are writing this one here um, yeah that's why you are writing this one here yes yes uh, are you seeing that yeah yeah, yeah, I can see. Because actually, I, I copied this off the board. So I didn't understand. But now I understand it. But I, I copied it off the board, which is one of the reasons why. Uh, no problem. Now I understand clearly. Yes, yes. I understand That's clearly. I understand That's clearly. That's great, Bita. Very good. So use ah. the measurement to estimate the percentage uncertainty in the internal volume. So simply that you can understand that when you, uh, it will be 399 minus 391. Okay? Yes. So I think that uh, internal volume that they are getting, external volume that is 400 or 399, whatever that you will get minus internal that will be 391. So change in volume that, uh, whatever change in volume that will be, you will get here uh, 8. 8 upon original multiplied by 100. Simple. Ah, okay, okay, okay. That's right. Okay? That's right. <laughs> Actually, yes. percentage change, they are applying formula. Percentage change, that is change in value, change upon original into 100, okay? So, you can see that 399, that is final, 391, that is before. So, change that will be 8 upon 399, okay, 391, sorry, okay. So 391, that is your before multiplied by 100. And you'll calculate that and you'll get your answer. That's it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, that's perfect. I understand this. So once again, I'll take a screenshot of this because this is okay, no. quite great. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Actually, that most important thing that you are not able to take a whole screenshot because that I am writing on a screen. So that's why that only you will be able to see that whatever that you are seeing at this time on a screen. It's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Because when I see this, it will come back to me. Like, I'll recall it. That's fine. So it's fine. Yes, yes, yes. So this yes. one's fine. That's, 
That's so yeah, true. so the next part is use the measurements to estimate the percentage uncertainty. So we've already done that mainly. We just have to do 391 minus, uh, 399 minus 391 yeah. to find half of the range. And then we just do the other. This one I think is okay. And then we subtract the close values leading to values of uh, that. Yes, just one question. Uh, when, they, when they wrote about uh, this, I understood this, but I was a bit confused in the second part when they wrote 399. Because I always expected it to be like 398 minus... Minus 391, not 399 minus 391. Okay, no problem, beta. Okay, wait, 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 beta. Arjit, doesn't matter of that one, beta. 399, I think they are taking round off value of that, you know. But won't yeah. that make it, in, uh, won't the error increase for the experiment? I don't know that, uh, but uh, means whatever percentage uncertainty, that means 39, 399 you are taking, 400 minus 1.4. But uh, yes, uh, 400 minus 1.4. Okay, 399 minus 391. Hold on, give me one second. Yes, because I, if I was there, I would have taken 398 because the last measurement for the internal volume in the table is 398. So I would have taken 398 minus 391. Oh, Arjit, I will kill you. Your percentage change in volume, your maximum minus minimum beta. Yes, but the maximum is given as 398 in the measurement table. Where? It's, uh, the table in the last image, it's 398. Are what you are seeing there. In middle, just see that, that is given 399. Ah, yes, yes, Oh my yes. God, yeah, what you are seeing. <laughs> yes, 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 okay. yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's why I think that what you are asking that. <laughs> okay, and you know that. Okay, I am explaining again that, beta. 3, 8 upon 396, okay? Okay. Yeah, because that average that you have to take, okay? Yes. 8, okay? Or three, not of 396, I think, yeah, 396 that you have to take, okay? Because that everything that is in millimeter, okay? Okay. And then you have to calculate that, multiply it by 100 and you will get your answer. That's it. Ah, okay. okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. So it's equal to 1%. Yes, that's fine. That's fine. So the last question for this is the one at three, where they're saying the volume of the metal was determined by subtracting the internal volume of the can from the external yeah. volume. Yes, yes that's this right. This produces a percentage uncertainty for the volume, which is greater than 10%. So just one. So this is what this, I wrote for this. This, uh, this I, I, I copied this from the board, actually. A percentage uncertainty for the volume of metal, which is greater than 10%. Okay. So... Yes, so in that condition, suppose that we are subtracting the two. Yes, external minus internal, then you will give you will get that change in volume. That's right. Uh, external volume, this produces a percentage uncertainty. Percentage uncertainty, that's also right. For the volume, for the metal. Volume of the metal, which is greater than 10%. Yes, because you are getting that 15%, okay? Yes. You are right. getting volume 15%. Because external minus internal, if you are doing that, okay? So that is a very least quantity, okay? Okay. Least value. Okay. Uh -huh. So that's why that it will be always greater than 10, okay? Greater than because 15, okay? That is 15, okay? Least value that you are getting, that is 15, which is greater than 10. So it's your answer. That's it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Understand yes, that? Yes, 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 that's right, that's right. I understand this one. I understand Good. This one. <laughs> uh, actually, sir, now uh, there, are only, there are only three minutes left. I actually have to go oh, yes, now because I, I, I need minutes, to have dinner now because it's no, 8 40 now. That's why. So I need to go for dinner now. But yet, yeah, I understood everything in this class. So yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks yes, for today. And, uh, and within class, one hour that your class will upload it, okay? Yeah, I will sure, upload no your problem. class within one hour or two hours, okay? And then you will be able to see that on my channel or miss within 24 hours because beta, after you that there is also continuous classes. So when I would like to be free, then I will upload that. And it will be very convenient for you to understand that when you would like to see that everything. Okay, actually of seeing video, you don't have to wait for that, whatever I am saying that. Here in this class, that whatever I would like to say that you have to wait about that, okay? What I will say. 
okay what my explanation will be but here regarding to this question each and every explanation after the class that will be you don't have to wait there you just have to go there and you just have to see there okay uh, so thanks okay. a lot beta have a great time and uh, as soon as possible i will upload your class video okay so thanks for today have a great time and greetings to your parents bye bye thank you bye bye